Hey, I'm Tony and this is Tony's Trasher Adventure. Today we're going to talk to you about something that you absolutely need for your trasher. I have put it off way too long and there's no reason not to. Let me show you what we got. We have a brush guard by tractorbrushguard.com and you can get it personalized. There it says Rufus. Now the way we got it set up is we have the actual brush guard and we also have the side mounts. I believe the way the instructions show this, it's going to take about 30 minutes to put this on or less with somebody more skilled than me. Yeah. It comes with everything you need, including a drill bit, the two mounting screws. It uses the mounting screws on the bottom of the brush guard. And then you have the other mounting screws for the side panels. So you're going to start off by taking the actual brush guard loose. The two mounts are going to go right here on the inside. And there will be some spacing. It, they're, they're, they'll flex out. You don't want to crank these down really, really tight because you want it to still pivot. Yeah, well the handle will go, um, it rotates all the way around like that. There's no one way or the other so it doesn't get in the way. You just push it open from the back. Nice and tight. And then we'll just use the holes to mark our screw holes. You can already see that this is going to be so much more uh, protection. And I love how it's absolutely contoured almost perfectly to the front of this. What we do now is just make me a mark. Now what I want to do is pull this back off because I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, this, this has got a powder coating and I don't want to damage the powder coating. I know that seems crazy. If I can get it off, it's a, snipe, it's a snug fit, but we'll just take a little rubber mallet. All right, now we're just going to drill our hole, which we already got started. These are really nice drill bits. They're, they're very sharp. I'm going to put a little cutting oil on this. Right, same thing on the other side. Comes with the locking nuts. Really the only thing you need is a drill and a Crescent wrench, technically. That's going to be a little bit better. Just have a extension with a swivel on it. Okay, and just like that, it took us longer to get the tools out than it actually did to put this together. Drill two holes, mount it to the bottom. And now you've got some serious protections when I'm out there pushing into brush piles with my grapple. And I can't wait to see how it holds up. All right, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and add the side panels on. And basically what's going to happen, let me grab the spacer. Because you have your tabs, we'll take this screw back out. That screw will go here. And then you'll have this spacer. Go down a little bit. Right there. there 
and then that's going to protect the whole side of your tractor. Looks sharp. It does look sharp, doesn't it? Let's it's get it. Mean and vicious. Let's get it done. <laughs> so if you buy your this kit, the side panels separately, you would you would put together separately. So I'm I'm doing it like this. Basically, because I didn't know what I was doing, so let's not lie to everybody. You're gonna put the washer on. This is gonna go in the second hole. This kit's universal, goes to a bunch of different tractors. So you're gonna just let it hang there. And put the nut. Start tightening, and then we'll figure out where the mounting holes go here. What you're gonna do is just line this thing up where it's. It's kind of level across the front here. Now you can, you have some adjustments up and down like this. I think that's the way we're gonna do it, run it. We're gonna run it all the way to the top. So this is pretty much the same. And we'll run it the front of this to the front of that. So now we just gotta start us a drill hole. those three holes it's really important that you take your time doing this especially drilling the holes because if you get this off then you're you're liable to get one of these off and then it won't look right from side to side I'll take my washer this has got a spacer right here that goes on the back side like such because this little tab is bent around that's how the grill guards put on so you have to have a spacer what we'll do up with a finger i'm not going to tighten anything down until we pull it to the top because i want this to go to the very top Like such. Looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. You can move it up and down, but I think it looks. I would line it up with the front. Well, I, I like it looks better all the way to the, like that. And you can still open the. It still makes it easy to open the dash up. I mean the. Reach right in there with the grill. What do you think? That looks mean and vicious. Looks more protective, especially when I'm pushing into brushes. I mean, it's not made to like stop tr big trees. It's just made to keep brush from poking it. Mm -hmm. All right, we got this one put on. I like it. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Be right back with you. That looks freaking awesome. 